Hello all, welcome to this new lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to show you the difference between compile time error, runtime error, and logical error. Okay, so let's get started. Firstly, what do you mean by compile time errors? So those errors that you get during your compilation process is called as compile time errors or compilation errors, right? So compilers will throw errors because programmers have not used the right syntax while writing their source code. Right? So that is why you get compile time errors. And sometimes these compile time errors are also called as syntax errors. Right? So let me show you an example. Let me write a code. Okay. Int main printf hello world. Right? So I am purposefully you know, not writing or not terminating this statement with a semicolon because I want to show you how a compiler error will look like. Okay, so as you can see that this uh, C source code has a syntax problem that is I have not terminated the statement with a semicolon over here. Okay, so let me now try to compile this program and see what would happen, right? So I'm compiling this. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a compilation error over here, which says expected semicolon before, okay, opening or uh, closing brace, okay, something like this. So this is basically called as a compile time error. So this is the error which I've got during compile time. And that is why we call these errors as compile time errors, okay? And compile time errors are always related with the syntax of your C source code, right? So hope you understood what do you mean by compile time errors. Okay, so now let us learn what do you mean by runtime errors. Okay, so those errors that you get during the program execution, right? So you write a source code, you compile the uh, source code, you get the binary code, and then the next step is you run the code, right? So when you run the code and when the CPU is executing your code, okay, and in between when the CPU finds that it is unable to execute your program, right? So that is when the CPU will actually crash your program and you will get a runtime error. Right? So such kind of errors that occurs during the runtime or such kind of errors that occurs during the execution of your program is called as runtime errors. Okay. So let me show you an example for that. Okay. So uh, just add the semicolon over here now. Right. So then I take two variables int a is equal to five int b is equal to zero. And now I will try to uh, I would try to take another variable C and then I will try to do a division, right? So I would say C is equal to five, that is A divided by B, right? As you can see, I'm trying to do a division by zero, right? I'm trying to divide a number by zero, which is actually illegal, okay? Which is not possible, okay? And let me say printf, okay? High world, right? So this program will compile successfully because as per the uh, as per the uh, C syntax, there is no problem with the syntax over here. The compilation should be successful, okay? But when I run this program, definitely the CPU must, you know, will definitely, uh, you know, will give us an error, okay? So let us just check that out, right? So first I will compile this to make sure that there is no compile time error, okay? So let me just check that out. As you can see, I've compiled it and uh, you know, there is no errors, there is no compile time errors, there are no warnings, okay? Now, uh, when I run this code, okay, so probably the CPU will be able to execute till hello world because there is no problem till here. But the moment the CPU encounters this line, C is equal to A divided by B, the CPU finds that you know it is unable to do this divide by zero and therefore it stops the execution over here by you know uh, terminating this program. Okay, so let me just check that out. Let us prove that, okay? So execute, I'm running this code. Okay, so let us see the output. Yes, so as you can see that the output that I've got is only hello world. It means that the CPU was able to execute only this until this line, okay? And the moment it encountered this line A divided by B, okay, uh, it, you know, it could not do this and there was a uh, runtime error, right? So this is called as runtime error. That is, you know, the those errors that you get during the execution of your C program are called as runtime errors, okay? So having said that, now let me, you know, tell you what do you mean by logical errors, right? So as the name itself uh, suggests, right? So those errors that occurs because of the problem in problem logic, right? Suppose uh, you write a program and there's a problem 
in the program logic or if you have gone wrong with your logic of your program right so that is when you get logical error okay so in this case there won't be any kind of compile time errors or there won't be any kind of runtime errors it means you will get the output but the only problem is that you will not get the desired output right say for example if suppose you want to find the average of two numbers say 2 and 6 right so we know that if i want to find the average of two numbers i will have to first add these two numbers and divide it by 2 isn't it so in our case if the example is 2 and 6 okay then if i add 2 plus 6 it becomes 8 and when i divide that by 2 it gives me 4 right so the average should be 4 but now i'm going to write a program to find the average of two numbers okay and i will show you how this logical errors could actually creep in into our program okay so let's just let's check that out right now Right, so I'll take two values. Int a is equal to okay, or let me say int average is equal to a okay. That is two plus six divided by two. Right. So we know we have to add these two numbers and divide it by two, and then let me try to print the value of this average. Okay, average is equal to percentage d because it's a you know uh, integer. and then i would say average because average will contain the value of average after calculating from this line right so let me try to do this so now basically there should not be any kind of compile time error because as per the c syntax everything is right and there should not be any runtime error because we are not doing anything illegal with the operation okay only thing is there is a problem with this logic i'll tell you why later okay so first let us see the output right so we are expecting the answer to be 4 but let us see what we get okay so execute compile as you can see there is no compile time error okay now let me execute run it okay so when i run <clears throat> it has given me an output so there is no run time error right so it has been executed the program is executed successfully but the problem is the output is not as desired right so we were expecting the output to be 4 okay because the average of 6 and 2 6 and 2 is uh 4 but we are getting an average of 5 so this is basically because of the problem in the uh, you know code logic okay so let us go and rectify it because we know that okay so whenever we want to find the average we have to sum these two first okay these the, these two numbers first and then okay and then divide it by 2 isn't it then we will have to divide it by 2 we have to divide it by 2 like this okay so because we had not used this parenthesis around this uh, addition expression what happened was that 6 divided by 2 got executed first and then that got added with 2 and that is why we got the result as 5 okay so let us uh, you know rectify this logical problem by adding a pair of parenthesis okay uh, around this 2 plus 6 and now when i run this code we must be able to get the right output as 4 okay so let me once again compile so there is no errors or there is no warnings okay and i'm running this code so we must be able to get the right output as you can see we have got the right output over here okay so yes now the program the you no know, the logical problem has been fixed in my program and we have got the right output okay so having said that so these are the three kinds of uh, errors that we could encounter in our daily programming life okay the first one is compile time error the second one is run time error and the third one is logical error okay so as a quick repetition you get compile time errors okay during compile time okay when there is a problem with the syntax of your uh, c source code and second one is you get run time errors okay when the cpu is not able to execute your uh, c source code okay uh, because of illegal instructions okay and third one is logical error so there won't be any compile time error or run time error you know uh, when it comes to logical errors because the, the logical errors occurs because of the problem in the uh, code logic right so you might not get the desired output right so such kind of errors are called as logical errors okay so having said that hope you understood the difference between uh, these three kinds of errors okay in upcoming lessons i'm going to teach you about uh, you know or i'm going to introduce you to the uh, keywords in c language okay so if you like this lesson so please do like the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that you will not miss any of my further updates on this programming series okay so having said that meet you in the next lesson until then take care bye bye love you all so much